Students, have you eaten an apricot fruit? Obviously, you must have. Look at this apricot fruit. Tell me, can you see its seeds? No, you can't. Now, let us cut the apricot fruit into two pieces. Now you can see its seed, can't you? Before we cut the apricot fruit, we couldn't see the seed because the flesh of the apricot fruit covered the seed. That is, apricot seed is enclosed within the apricot fruit. So, we can say that an apricot seed is not naked. Similarly, a mango seed is also enclosed inside the fruit. The apple seeds are also enclosed inside the fruit. The papaya seeds are also enclosed inside the fruit. None of them are naked. Plants whose seeds are enclosed inside their fruits are called covered seeded plants. So, an apricot plant, a mango plant, an apple plant, and a papaya plant are covered seeded plants. Maize plants, sugarcane plants, wheat plants are also covered seeded plants. Students, now you all know that a flowering plants bear flowers. Now have a look at this mustard flower. It has four whorls in it. First, one is calyx, second one is corolla, third one is androsium, and the fourth one is gynosium. Among these four parts, the androsium is the male reproductive part and the gynosium is the female reproductive part. So, a mustard flower has a male and female reproductive parts. A rose flower also has male and female reproductive parts. An apple flower also has male and female reproductive parts. A pea flower also has male and female reproductive parts. All these flowers have male and female reproductive part. Students, now look at this flower. It is a cucumber flower. Unlike a mustard flower, a cucumber flower does not have both male and female reproductive parts in the same flower. This cucumber flower does not have androsium. It has only gynosium. So, it is a female cucumber flower. But this cucumber flower does not have gynosium, it only has androsium. So it is a male cucumber flower. So a cucumber plant can have two kinds of flowers. male cucumber flower and the female cucumber flower. Similarly, 
a papaya plant also has two kinds of flowers. Male papaya flower and the female papaya flower. A pumpkin plant also has two kinds of flowers. Male pumpkin flower and female pumpkin flower. So, some of the covered seeded plants have male and female reproductive parts in the same flower. And some of the covered seeded plants have male and female reproductive parts in different flowers. But flowers of all the covered seeded plants develop into fruits. And fruits contain seeds in them. Students, both the maize and the pea plants are covered seeded plants. Now, look at the pea and the maize seed. Let us put them in water for two nights. After that, let us take out both the seeds from the water. Now let us try to open the outermost cover of the pea seed. Oh, it opens easily. This outermost covering of the pea seed is its seed coat. Now let us try to open the inner part of the pea seed. It also opens easily. A pea seed has opened into two equal halves. So, a pea seed has two parts. These parts look like a leaf, don't they? So, they are called seed leaves. So, a pea seed has two seed leaves. Now let us try to open the outer cover of the maize seed. Oh, it doesn't open. Actually, we cannot open the outer cover of the maize seed. It also doesn't have two parts like that of a pea seed. It has only one part. So, a maize seed has only one seed leaf. Both the maize and the pea are covered seeded plants. But one of them has two seed leaves while the next has only one seed leaf. Based on the number of seed leaves present, we can divide the cover seeded plants into two types. The monocot plants and the diacot plants.